Hey guys, and welcome to Weekly Art Inspirations. I'm trying to stay a little bit quiet because it's about about midnight, which isn't too late, but I'm, I know my father's home and he's sleeping and there's a lot. Um, so anyways, I'm holding this kind of funny because I don't want you guys to see what the painting is yet because I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm excited for you guys to see this. This is a personal project. Um, a friend of mine had her dog pass away and I just, and I, a co-worker had her dog pass away and I just, I wanted to do this. I tried doing this for different family members, friends, co-workers, because I just, I don't know. There's, there's something so huge to me about animals. I love my dog who's back here. She's off to the side. She's there. Don't worry. Bella's there. She's the white fluff ball that occasionally is in videos. But, uh, I just, I, it, it gets me tongue tied because it's just, it's really huge to me. Anyways, guys, this is going to be a fun video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to give your pets a good cuddle because they're awesome like that. Um, but with that said, let's go over to painting this. I will actually be in my living room painting this. Like, I <laughs> I wanted to watch uh, Numbers on TV, so I just decided to move my whole easel and have to figure out how to set up by rigging my phone with tape to a chair. So let's head over to that video. So with this painting, I had so much fun doing it, and it's it's one of those things, I've done a few paintings of dogs for my family and for friends before, and I've just, I don't know, I found it so calming. It helps me practice, and I get to do something really special for people that are around me, and I, I don't know, I just love it. I've, I've kind of come to the thing where I just, I really enjoy playing with color and doing these kind of things. Um, I usually work, this is acrylic that I'm using to paint this. And in it, I just wanted to make sure that I got all the details right, because I actually had never met Gus, um, but I heard stories about him, and I always loved hearing them from my from my coworker. And so it was just really, really fun to be able to do this for her. Um, I felt like I got to kind of know Gus even more, drawing and painting him. He just had such a cute face, and I loved. I don't know, I love creating something that the family can keep forever and to always remind them of their pet because at least for me and my family we love animals and animals are such a huge part of our lives. Um, you know, you see, you guys have seen my dogs in my videos and I've had a ferret before and another dog and I just love them. I Even after they've passed on, I still to this day love them so deeply. and. It's just really, I don't know, my inspiration for this is being able to keep a piece of something that has really changed your life, and animals have done that for me. And that's why I love doing it for people who I can tell really love their pets, because it's just such a, I don't know, almost a spiritual experience. I, I just love it. Anyways, guys, just a little bit about this. I was using normal acrylic paints. I think I did this over about two hours, two and a half hours. Um, I was watching TV, that's why we're in a different location than my room. I just wanted to be able to paint somewhere different. Um, there's going to be a few more paintings like this, but um, it'll be fun. I hope you guys enjoy seeing this kind of stuff. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, so that is the end. Oh, my hair is doing all kinds of crazy things. It's late at night. I'm about to head off to go to bed because I have work in the morning. But with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Here is the finished artwork. This is of a friend's dog named Gus. Um, he passed away about, I think, a week or two ago. And I just, I wanted to do this for a coworker. Um, I just, I don't know. I have met people before who I, I just, I love my dogs and I understand how they feel about their dogs. Um, about a year and a half ago, I lost my little best friend, Wags, who was my puppy, and so it, it's the thing of, of, you know, you go through it and then you can really not just sympathize, but empathize with people, and so um, for the past little while, whenever animals um, pass away that I have known the family or friends or, or even co-workers who have had their animals pass away, I really try and do um, either a small painting or a watercolor for them because animals are such a huge part of my life, are such a huge part of uh, people who love and take care of animals. They're just, they're wonderful. They're such a huge part of, of the family, of, of just everything. So this is the finished painting of Gus. I'll try and get a, 
it's it's nighttime so the lighting of course is just awful um but there is the finished painting of gus guys thank you so much for watching please remember to stay inspired stay amazing and love your pets love your animals and always be kind to animals because they are incredible creatures with that said, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you'd like to like this video, that would be awesome. If you'd like to subscribe and hit that bell notification, that would be wonderful. Come join our Art Sprites community. And if you'd like, there are some more videos over here. So with that said, stay inspired, stay amazing, and remember that you're incredible, guys. Bye!